Hey guys, welcome to my first ever YouTube channel. I'm so excited. All right, let's jump right in. So the first thing I'm going to do over here is I'm going to take this light eyeshadow and I'm going to put this all over my eyelids. Um, this way, any eyeshadow that you put on after this, it will blend really nice and smooth. And of course, don't forget to moisturize your lips. Uh, that way you can put on your liquid lipsticks later. All right, back to the eyes. And for this look, you can also um, just take any face powder that you have and you can put that all over your eyelids. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this MAC 242 concealer brush and taking the e.l.f. smudge pot in color crushing chick. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but I'll list it down below. And um, I'm going to put that all over my eyelid. And the reason I'm doing this, that way the other eyeshadow that you put on after this, it will show up really nice and intense. After this, I'm going to take MAC 217 blending brush and the dark eyeshadow and I'm going to pack that on the outer corner and the inner corner of your eyes, which you'll see right now. Alright, so once after you pack those two colors, you just want to merge them, leaving the center blank with the shimmery color still. Um, again, take the dark eyeshadow in the outer corner in a corner and just blend them in the crease area and don't worry if it's not nice and blended because after this I'm going to show you another trick how to blend or have it seamlessly blended all together again I'm going to show the same trick on the other side of my eye and pack the color on the outer corner inner corners and blend them together with the same MAC 217 brush and after this I'm gonna take MAC 286 I believe yep 286 blending brush with no additional products on here and I'm just gonna make sure I go all over the outside of my crease if you will and then we will take MAC Fix Plus spray it on MAC 242 brush and take the shimmery eyeshadow. You can use any really shimmery eyeshadow that you want. I'm just using Morphe 35 Warm Palette. And I'm doing this step twice, which I didn't show it to you guys. But I'm going to spray that on the brush, dip it in the eyeshadow, put that on my eyelids. And repeat the same step again. Alright, and then we will take... Um, wet and wild liquid eyeliner it's waterproof eyeliner and i'm using mac 210 brush i think this is 210 but i'm not sure i'll list it down below um i'm using just a very thin eyeliner i'm not doing any crazy winged or just like a baby teeny tiny wing on the out outside corner and just so that way when i put on my lashes or you don't have to do lashes but i will so um the lash glue or the skin does not show between the lashes and your eyelids all right so once your eyes are done we're gonna move on the face i already have my foundation on um i'm using the concealer la girl in creamy beige and i'm just gonna put that under my eyes um anywhere you really want to highlight I would put this concealer anywhere you want to highlight and you can even take a lighter shade um, to highlight but I'm just taking one to two shades lighter than my skin tone because I am going for a natural if you will <laughs> look um, so I would put that on the center of my forehead on my chin bridge of my nose cupid's bow and underneath my eyes and then I'm gonna take real techniques beauty blender and make sure that is nice and damp and then I'm just gonna use that to blend in my concealer um, everywhere else on my forehead of course bridge off my nose and I like to go back and forth with the with my fingers and with the beauty blender to blend in my concealer like you see over here especially under my eyes I really like to use my fingers to blend in and warm up the concealer and then go back with the beauty blender and just I'm um, gonna blend all your concealer and your foundation together just like so and it does feels nice on your face feels like a face massage uh, I'm sorry you guys cannot see that part okay then I'm gonna take RCMA no color powder and this one's just a little bit zoom in so you guys can see I'm not actually baking uh, I'm just 
I'm just kind of putting a little bit of powder just so my concealer um, doesn't come off throughout the day. And here I showed you how much powder I'm using for one side of my face, actually. Uh, mostly I'm going to use that under my eyes for the concealer because that's where I try I tend to get really oily and then whatever is left on my sponge I'm gonna just gonna pat that all over my face as you see over here and then uh, I'm taking my 242 brush again and using the shimmery eyeshadow that I put on the center of my lid and just gonna um, run through under my eyes and then I'm gonna take my pencil brush and using the dark eyeshadow and go over like you see over here uh, I'm kind of zoomed in you guys and go over with that silver not no not silver I'm sorry um, the other shimmery eyeshadow that I put <clears throat> on alright and then just take any lash curler you have I it's not this one's nothing fancy just a normal eyelash curler make sure you curl your lashes and then I'm using here I'm trying to zoom in but it didn't Marc Jacobs mascara um, the one I'm using is a sample size it's not the full size and I really really like this mascara it's nice and dark and it kind of separates the lashes too so um, here I'm going to show you how it looks, the I look with the lashes, I mean sorry, without lashes with my mascara, it looks really nice and good. And then I'm going to use MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Tan and I'm going to just put that all over my face to give a little color and warmth to my skin and I'm using MAC 187 I believe. Um, brush just to put them all together and then I'm taking this tart nice mauvey blush and I'm gonna put that on the apples of my cheeks with my funny smile <laughs> and so and then I'm actually making sure I blend the blush and my bronzer together so it looks more natural again <laughs> and then i'm using mac light scapade highlighter and the real techniques brush and this is not obviously not intense highlight it is very everyday kind of within glow highlighter and then again i need to moisturize because my lips are really really dry and i'm using mac sorry mac i'm using wet and wild rebel rose liquid lipstick and i really really like this lipstick it looks very pretty and every day and there you are all done without lashes and looks really pretty this is the look without lashes and right after this i will show you with lashes how you can just add a little extra to it which is this is really pretty i like it too and here you go this is i have my my right side of the eye done and the left side still does not have any eyelashes on so I'm using our dull lashes and here you will see me struggle and I mean struggle with the lashes it's, it's so difficult to put lashes on yourself and now I know why so here you see me going back and forth with the tweezer and with my hand and then back to tweezer again it's really difficult I don't know how everyone does this so anyway once the lashes are done I'm gonna go back to my wet and wild liquid eyeliner and I'm just gonna put it over the lash band that way um, once the glue is dry it does not show or peek through um, that's not pretty <laughs> at all so anyway and when I was putting on the other side of my eyes i found out that my lashes were coming off and look at my face oh <laughs> anyway and then i try my struggle again with the lashes there you go when i try it came off even more Ugh. okay but then it worked at the end so all right that was it i hope you guys enjoy and you liked it if you do like it please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you soon bye